Just lie. I am an uneducated ex-drug addict who was tired of working at a gas station for $9 per hour. I decided to stretch the truth about my experience. Knowledge. Pretty much everything. I lied to the temp agency and they recommended me a forklift job, inventory, handheld system job. Had no prior experience with any of it. Even the forklift. Ended up impressing the boss and got hired out of six applicants. Few months later I am full-time and making $17 per hour. 401k. And benefits. Point is. I do less work now for more money. All because I had confidence and the internet. Of course. These results aren't the most probable but it's changed my life. And all I did was lie. Edit. Thank you to everyone for you experiences of lying about experience. It's so good to see and to hear people out there ready for better making it happen. It inspires me and I hope it can inspire other smile. Also have since gotten my certification. I lied to get the job. They lied about what the job actually was. We're even. My apprentice pulled a similar stunt. Claimed he knew how to operate CMM. Understands blueprint, schematic reading fully. ECT ECT. They hand him dot off to me to train him. After half a shift it's apparent he had no clue. I asked him straight up and he said he lied. He was sorry but he couldn't take being rejected from job after job. Only getting minimum wage offers. He was a former homeless addict. But he's sobered now and has a kid and just needs any kind of way to dot get the foot in the door. Said he understood had be let go but if I could show him a few things before that so he could at least build off that little experience. Three months ago he just passed seven years with the company. Never had a more dedicated worker on staff. I agree with this. Just lie reasonably. I'm good with people and had a lot of jobs where I'm face to face with customers. So I put down I have over six years in sales and essentially got a sales job. But I'm good with people. So I can make it work. Don't put down things that are wildly out of character for you. Don't let your past define you. Now you are an experienced forklift driver. Do not let that ever be overshadowed. All you have to be is one step ahead of them in the lie. Can lie initially and in the interviews and such. But once there is promise get a baseline understanding. The majority of entry level jobs can be power studied for a week and seem like you have at least seen it before. Then you can work hard at your new skills at home while busting ass in training. Most people have such low expectations for new employees that a slow few weeks wouldn't even be a red flag. Stretch that truth. Getting two idiots out of your gas station before they opened fire on each other, turns into, well, experienced at dispute resolution. Stocking is, inventory control monitoring and replenishment, at the store by yourself. Works well independently. Just polish the turd. Had a rich friend who invited us to her chalet for a week. They had a private chef who was the loveliest guy. Got talking to him one life about his life story and potential earnings etc. He explained to me he was a massive stoner who had never cooked before. But found a set of chef knives left on the London tube. He took the knives and also took them as a sign to start chefing. He applied to a fancy culinary school in Switzerland and lied about his entire application. Previous experience etc. First day the chef training him noticed he had no experience and called him out on it. He admitted to this. But the chef took him under his wing. Ten years on he's a chalet chef in the Alps in winter. And a yacht chef in the Mediterranean in summer pulls in 250k per season plus tips ludicrous tips such as a rolex for all crew members lie and dream big kids 
I never finished college but put the college I attended on my resume without dates. My last two jobs just assumed I had a degree. When I told one of my co-workers she was shocked because I was better at the job than she was. And she has a master's. Sometimes there is no need to lie. Just don't say anything. Did they train you on the forklift? I want to lie about IT shit but I'm scared they'll ask for proof about something. Like ask me to show them what I can do. Rich people lie their dicks off every day. Good for you. Glad you're doing well now. I have a buddy that has a generously overstated resume. It does help him get interviews but when they ask him technical questions. He can't answer them. He got a job interview for a major defense manufacturer and handed the manager his resume. He was called back for a second interview and they also sent an email with the job requirements. Which stated that the applicant must be an expert in this subject and that subject. Etc. He called me in a panic because he knew if they asked him any questions. He wouldn't be able to answer them. Anyway. He went in for the second interview and the manager just talked to him about what his starting salary would be and his start date. He asked about the job requirements and the manager told him that she had written the requirements based on his resume so that she could tell HR he was the best match for the job. Exaggeration certainly paid off for him. Try to get a forklift certification through your job. Just say you need to renew it or you lost your old one. So you can move on to the next with even better documentation. Had an engineer come work for the company. Tasked with me to break him in. It became apparent he didn't know anything and I mean. Anything. He came with references and qualifications all of which were fake. Whilst we were discussing what to do. He was a nice lad and we were gonna rehire him as an apprentice. Walked into the room asked where was he. Got asked by staff, is it true? Blah 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 told them to keep out of it, and got told he went for a coffee break and legged it. Never returned calls. My industry is intimidating. But fuck we were about to rehire him as an apprentice. The ability to talk your way into and through interviews is crucial. From the initial screening to the final interview it's all about selling yourself. I've no college degree, modest experience and honestly, not the best worker in the world but I know how to sell myself in interviews. Currently making better money than friends in more demanding positions with master's degrees because of if in an adversarial relationship. The only reason to not lie is if the, the lie can be proven to your disadvantage. A job is adversarial between you and your employer. In most cases the consequence is what? Not getting a job that you didn't have in the first place. Getting fired after a while. Now you have some of the experience you had claimed for the next job. No reason for guilt or shame that I can see. I got my first job at 16. My mum died and I needed money since the orphanage help was not enough. 300 euro prox. I faked all the experience and I gave a friend's phone number just in case they needed. Recommendations. Work was telemarketing at a broadcast company. They never called her. They never talked to the companies. Nothing. Yeah. Just lie. In the end. They don't fucking care at all. This is the only way to move up without taking on ridiculous amounts of student debt or spending. Decades, working your way up, and there's really no downside. I learned recently from a friend who works in HR at a large company that when they post job openings they typically request that people have far more experience and education than they actually require for the role. But because they get so many applicants they prefer to narrow it down to people who are overqualified for the role but are willing to work for entry-level wages. 
so if you're underqualified on paper and you fudge your experience a bit, you often end up being exactly what they actually need for the job. Lie to employers anytime it can benefit you, your boss has no issue lying to you. I used to be a virtual assistant. If a new client ever asked me if I could do X, I would just say yes and then learn how to do it. I got the best projects that way. I've lied to get most of my jobs. Google the requirements and decide if you're capable of learning them on the job. Worst thing to happen is they fire you for not knowing and then what? Back to where you were so who cares? If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.